Mr. Heath, who are now freed from possibility of call-up? Those men who have been deferred for studies or training, apprenticeships or universities, whose deferment ends after the 1st of June 1960. And uh, there are about 50,000 whose deferment ends between June the 1st and the end of December 1960, when the call-up finally ends. So the position is now made clear for those 50,000 men. Of course, not all of them would have been called up necessarily, uh, because a very considerable number would have obtained some further deferment for a variety of reasons, and some would not have been fit for military service. Who are still liable for call-up? All those men who have already registered and have not been deferred, and those men who have been deferred, or whose call-up has been postponed for reasons of hardship, and whose deferment or postponement ends before the 1st of June 1960. Now, what about the young men? Who, who in fact, will be called up there, the ones around about 20? Well, those are the men who have already registered, and uh, they go up to the uh, third, and including the third quarter of 1939. Those born in July 1939 are at present being called up. Those born in August 1939 will be called forward for medical examination in February 1960, and those born in September 1939 will go for medical examination in May 1960. And no one will have to register anymore now? No, the last registration has taken place. Has voluntary recruitment been better than you expected? Well, uh, voluntary recruitment has fluctuated from time to time, but the services are confident of getting the numbers of men they require in the regular forces, and of course this is part operation of uh, regular forces which are increasing and national service forces which are decreasing in the combined forces of the Crown.